All right, so we are starting the DIY squat rack. And so far, this is what we've got. We've got our four main four by four posts. They are eight foot long. I might cut them down to seven and a half feet. We'll see how things go. So this is the rough kind of sketch of the plan. You can see our four posts here that are gonna be these. And the idea, this isn't, this will change a little bit, but the idea is basically uh, lift weight. <laughs> By mapping out where the holes are gonna go through these posts, these are just kind of a rough estimate here, you can see. And that is where this, which is gonna be the weight holder, is gonna mount through. Just check back in, it's been a little while. Um, I went through each board and what I did was I and then over here we have we got the drill press set up so what I'm doing right now is on this one I'm going through and I'm drilling the holes at three inches on center and uh, this one's gonna take a while it's been about 20 minutes already so just got done drilling the full row of those and uh, grab one of these bolts as example. So the idea is that when this is all said and done, we will be able to, sorry for the music in the background. So these will have two by fours between them that are gonna be the weight holder. And uh, I'll show those later. So I just got done doing all the posts. It took me, honestly, probably close 45 minutes to an hour to drill them all. It was quite a bit. Um, you can see here on the ground, there's one of them. And uh, basically, so now what I'm doing is I am laying out all of my pre-cut items. Forgot to do a uh, update, but what I did is, there's our post. Um, our drill set up, all that sawdust. But anyways, next, the next step was to cut what are going to be the horizontal and width members, which are these and those right there, these guys. And so for the width, I did 38 inches, and that has to do with, with the bar being... I've got a seven foot bar and I believe it's 49 inches to the uh, inside the inside where the weights go. And so basically these blocks are three and a half inches a piece. Um, so seven inches, 49 minus seven, what was that, was like 42. And then I wanted some room on each side so I'm not pinching my hands or so the plates aren't hitting the side of the frame when I am uh, re-racking the weight. So. I got my stuff cut, highly useful if you have one of these, uh, God help you if you don't. And then these are just freestanding, they're not made down, so what's going to happen is when this is all said and done, this will be up like that, and you can see here, here are the holes where we're going to slide our custom, uh, our custom pins in, and uh, yeah, so you can see there's holes here, so that'll, that'll go from here to there. And uh, it'll basically be a power cage. Right now I'm cutting these uh, triangle kind of corner to corner pieces. Uh, you can see here, I got it kind of this one kind of half going. And then uh, kind of what they're going to be, what they're going to look like in each corner like that. And yeah, it's going to be fun. So it's been a couple hours, uh, went and did some stuff, but uh, Basically, I got all those kind of 45 degree pieces. So the long side of those is 10 inches long. So if you measure 10 inches and then at that you cut your 45, 10 inches on the long side and that's where your angle is going to land. The miter saw I used has a laser on it, makes things go a lot quicker. Um, I'm sure you could figure out how to do it elsewise. So right now we've got our frame laid out on the floor. And I'm going to switch the camera around. And uh, so what I'm doing right now is I, I got the, this is going to be, you can see the holes there. That's my front side. This is the back side. So when it's standing up, this will be like the left vertically. And uh, I got them laid down. And I'm putting these 
brackets in here. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, 45s and I'll set them in place like that. So once again, I skipped a step, but as you can see here are the members with these 45s in. You can see the, uh, the brace in there. Then our screws that we screwed in. So that's the 45s, that's what it looks like. And then I did the second one and I've stood them up on their sides. Now, this is gonna be, if I was to do this, that would be the final position. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back upright in. I'm gonna put a bracket here, a bracket here, and then I'm gonna put two of these 45s in. And then when that's done, I should be able to stand it up. All right, so I got the cross beam in place with these ties here. This is gonna be the back one. This is gonna be the front one. Um, just, these should be on this side. Uh, I have them on here just because the way I constructed it, it helped me keep them upright. But the weight is gonna be pulling this way. So you're gonna want more so on this side because when you're pulling down, this will help with the force. All right, so I've got the cross beams in place like this, like that. So we step back here. This is our cage, like so, and uh, we should be able to flip it up and be pretty close. I got some stuff going back and forth that I still need to do. Not sure what I want to do on the bottom here. I wanted, so there should be one coming from here to here on the bottom, but I wasn't sure, you know, when I step up to the squat, I don't want to have the, you know, if, if I'm underneath the bar, my feet will be where that cross beam is. So that's not very ideal. All right, so got these two pieces in. Bam, bam, bam. Last one here. These are not installed right now. I still have to screw them in. So I'm gonna screw these bad boys in, get this straight, and then I'm gonna tilt it up, and then we are gonna have the main part of the cage done. All right, so that is in place. I had to use these little brackets to keep it. It kept sliding out and fucking up the plumbness, so I might take those off when I tilt it up because it's probably going to wobble on one of those but um, that's what we got right now and I'm going to uh, tilt her back and we'll see what we got. I'm hoping it's not uh, a shaky nightmare. And there we have it flipped up and this thing's a little bit probably maybe too tall but uh, hopefully it fits in my garage. We might end up cutting the top pieces off later. We'll see. But uh, anyways, this is, uh, the, this is the rack. You can see we got our holes here. Our bolts will go through and that'll be where our bar will sit. Um, we'll probably shim, we'll have to shim up the, uh, that wobble a little bit. I'm sure those uh, two plates that are underneath there aren't helping. But uh, yeah, plenty of room. We'll have plenty of room to do overhead press. Uh, we'll have pull-ups. I'm mean, planning on putting a, uh, a pulley system in here so I can do tricep pu uh, pull-downs and stuff. So hopefully we'll get that going. And uh, yeah, came out pretty good. All right, so it's a new day and we're back. And I'm going to make the, I don't know what's the word for it, the weight clamps or the hold, the J-hooks. J-hooks! We're making the J-hooks. And uh, so this is a rough sketch that I put together of uh, kind of what it's going to be. You can see on the top there, um, that's where the weight's going to hold. There's a little indent in the middle. So that's going to be one of the uh, two by or, yeah, two by fours. And uh, it'll be down about an inch from the other one. And then we're going to bolt through. See, we're going to have a two bolt system that'll go inside these bolts. And as long as everything is aligned nicely, it should work. So I'm just measuring out. I've got I've got my uh, two by fours here, and so these are going to be the center where I'm going to drill through. I'm going to drill through two of them. So what it'll be is it'll kind of be stacked up like this. You can see this is this is where the cut will be, and then like this, and then the one underneath will be a little bit shorter, and this is where the bar will rest when it's all said and done. So I've cut my pieces. This one is seven inches. This one is seven and a half. And right now I'm going to drill some deck screws just to hold these two pieces together to make it a little more sturdy. 
Um, keep in mind, I've just noticed that uh, the uh, holes that I drill marked out are on the wrong side, so make sure you don't do that. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, four screws in, and then after that I'm going to go over to the drill press and I'm going to drill the holes through for our carriage bolts. So basically here are our blocks, just one through. Make sure you don't go too far deep into this wood, otherwise you'll poke through the other side because these are three inch pieces. So as you can see here, not a whole lot of room to play with. So this ended up being an incredible failure because the, uh, the drill press I'm using, um, well, it stopped its ability to go up and down halfway through drilling this. So I ended up with a really crooked cut. But uh, if you go over here to this one, you can see the concept at work. Except the only problem is, when you look through this one, you can't get her all the way through without it being crooked. So part of that's on me. Part of that's on using a drill bit that was too long. See that guy there? Probably should have used a shorter one or I don't know. I might try to redo these with hand, but as of now, I'm going to call it a day. You can see how those are going to work. This should be strong enough to hold. I am not the strongest person, so there's probably not going to be more than, you know, 275 loaded on a bar at any time that these will support. So 275 in half really isn't going to be too much because these, uh, these are pretty strong. So, you know, each one will hold the weight. Should be good. Got to, uh, got to adjust this real quick. I'm going to put the washers on and uh, we should be good. We are back and we've got the squat rack in its final resting place. Uh, luckily it was short enough that I was able to get it into the garage and tilt it up. So uh, we'll just run through kind of what it looks like now. And, uh... and here we have it. Um, basically we've got what we built in the other garage. We've moved it in here and we've actually added this uh, kind of deadlift platform. So I'm going to include how I did that at the end of the video. And we'll just take a look. Our weight clamps ended up being enough. As you can see here, these are pretty freaking solid. They don't move around. If we come back here, we've got our washer and nut. They just come through. More than enough weight. And then what we can do is we can move it up and down. So if we're, you know, this is a squat and overhead position, and then if I want to move it down, the bench press, I bring this bench over, slide it in, and uh, we hit bench. And this thing's actually pretty solid. What I went and did was after I made this platform, I installed these, these angle brackets. You can see them back there. And one, two, I might add one on the back. And uh, those keep it real sturdy. Not, not to say it doesn't shake a little bit, but some industrial racks do too. Can, probably doesn't show up with me but pretty solid all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay two four by eight sheets of just real chintzy plywood on the ground uh, I bought half inch uh, this has the tongue and groove on it so it lines up nicely at the joint and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line them up so they uh, fit nice in their square I mean I want to have any edges and then what you're going to do is you're going to lay the two layer, the two on the bottom, and then you're going to add another layer on top, perpendicular to those. So we're just going to slide it into place. And then add our next sheet. You're going to want to make sure that you line up the edges nicely. And uh, when we go back and drill our screws in, we'll be able to take care of that. Watch out for slivers. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill pilot holes through these so you're not completely cracking the wood. Um, this stuff can be a pain to drill through. 
and uh, just makes the screw job go a lot easier. So I'm using inch and a quarter screws as these are All right, so now what we're doing is we are laying our nicer sheet of plywood, and that's going to go directly in the middle, again, perpendicular to that second layer and in the same direction as the first layer. So we're just going to get it so it's got two feet on each side. And then what's going to happen is we're going to drill our pilot holes, our guide holes, and you're going to want to do one on each side of that joint that is underneath. You can see the blue line there and what I'm doing right now is I'm screwing these inch and a quarter screws on each corner and then for your screw pattern what I did is I did one at each corner, the two in the middle, and then between each of the corner screws and the middle screw I did one screw. So on the short side there's going to be three across and on the long side there's going to be one on each end, so that's two, two on the joint in the middle, so that's four, and then one between the joint and end screws, so that's going to be a total of six screws per side on the long side. So now what I'm doing is I'm moving my squat rack into place that I built earlier in the video, and um, eventually I'll pull those two two by fours out and we'll set it down on the plywood. Okay, now picking up at the end of that deadlift kind of installation video, sorry for the low quality, I did it on my Twitch stream and uh, ended up running into some difficulties because I, so I didn't finish. But uh, once I got the squat rack, I slid it into place, I pulled those 2x4s out, and then I added those angle brackets, got it real secure, and then uh, these rubber mats are uh, 4x6 horse mats, they're 3 quarters inch thick. You're going to want to make sure that's why this is three quarters of an inch thick so it can match up with these. And um, basically what you do is you cut them in half um, on the four, four foot side. So you have two two foot by three foot sections or two foot by six foot sections I should say. And uh, you put the factory edge on the inside so it lines up nice. You can screw these down so they don't move around but I don't see the point right now. Uh, I'm not having any issues with it. The reason why I built this platform is because I was deadlifting and doing rows on these and I noticed the weight was tearing them up pretty good and also the uh, the force hitting the floor it really felt funky on my arms so this is going to be give me a nice solid and sturdy spot to do my lifts, to do my squats, to do basically your generic 5x5 power lifting routine if you want to. Another thing I did was I made this kind of little plate holder. It's really simple and easy to make. Um, you can see the back support and then there's just some 2x4s that run along the bottom like that and then some vertical ones and then we can just layer plates in there like that and it really stores the weight nicely. These, used, these before had like a footprint of from kind of here to the end of these dumbbells. So now got a lot less space being taken up. And uh, as you can see, we don't have much space in here, so we'll take everything we can. So yeah, basically this was all in all a relatively simple process. Pretty frustrating at times, mostly transporting things. So if you have a pickup truck, this is going to be a much easier job. I had to bring the uh, plywood to my house in the back of my Ford Bronco. So I had to have the window down, the plywood up over the seat, sticking out the back. Real pain in the ass. But if you've got a pickup truck, this can be really quick. The squat rack was probably around $150 to make. The deadlift platform was another $150. Um, so you're looking at about $300 to $350, depending on what you got to do. I think it's worth it. Um, I'm probably going to miss two months of the gym payments. So all in all, not going to even out. But if I can sell it when I'm done and... I don't even need the break even just as long as I get some money back. It's more of a mental thing for me to be able to lift. So if you think that this is something that you're interested in, if you've got any questions, just feel free to ask me. I'll be more than happy to respond. I got most of my inspiration from other YouTube videos that are probably a little more helpful along the way. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think these pins came in good. The bar, good height enough holes that you can adjust it and 
Other than that, thank you for watching and have a great day.